as part of the development for the aeroplane, what we have to do is to prove it can land safely onto unprepared runways. Um, for example, they could be um, earth runways or sand, but for this campaign, we concentrate solely on grass runways. Here at Ekeri, we have a very, very nice facility. We have a, an airfield which is approximately 1,400 meters long, and we have three runways to choose from um, on the airfield. So what it means is that we can do um, a lot of work in a short amount of time to complete the development work and certification that we need to do. It's a grass runway, a very convenient for the tests that we have to do on the performance and handling quality side. The two main subjects are in terms of uh, testing our handling qualities on the ground uh, with the uh, unsymmetrical situations but also symmetrical engine power uh, and uh, performance assessment, uh, the, the effects of the grass and the soft ground uh, on the performance uh, of the aircraft either for takeoff or for landing. For the pilot, the most challenging bit is the landing. Uh, we have a very small touchdown box, uh, 100 meters long, which when you're on the ground looks quite big, but when you're approaching at 110, 120 knots, uh, doesn't look very big at all. We have a very tight criteria in that we have to land inside that box, so we can't land before it and we can't land after it. Um, so for the pilot, that is clearly the most demanding bit, is to making sure we land in the correct place. We have two checks to do after each movement, once we are back on the ground. There is a general walk around uh, the aircraft to see whether there is anything loose, whether we have any leaks uh, that may relate it uh, to the harsh environment that we are operating on. And then at times uh, part of the crew is going to identify the, the ruts, uh, the traces that we left on the ground to well spot the next, uh, the next departure place for a takeoff for example. Just for the runway, we made 640 DCP measurements. A DCP is a tool which is behind me on the, black, on the board. It's an American tool which enables us to qualify the airfield in terms of uh, CBR. CBR stands for Californian Bearing Ratio, which is a unit of uh, terrain stress. 116. So we are looking at uh, every evidence that we can find on the terrain of the behavior of the aircraft. For example, when the aircraft lands, the wheels, which weight roughly 100 kg each, have to turn from zero to 200 km per hour. This can degrade the terrain on a more or less long uh, length. So we have to check that, and then we have to check the routes created by the braking or for, by, the, by the reverses, uh, according to what the flight chief engineer wants to do. The biggest challenge of the campaign is uh, that uh, we go the first time on a very heterogeneous airfield like a grass runway with different CBRs. Uh, we need to integrate a lot of information from the runway team inspections, from the data analysis and uh, do a day-to-day -day analysis online uh, in order to decide what to do uh, the next day. It's a continuous uh, extension of the flight envelope with respect to weight and uh, speeds. This is the first time that we have landed on grass. It's the first time that we go to the, the weights that we have been here. So we've been up, for example, to about 114 tons which in terms of the customer means that on this airfield they could carry a 30-ton vehicle um, and we could land it quite, quite easily with the space available and still with margin. So we know we can even go, go heavier than that. Yeah.